how to rebuild trust after it has been broken. Hey guys, my name is Danny and I'm your life and relationship coach. And I am one of the head coaches here at the Happily Committed Project. If this is your first time visiting the channel or visiting our webpage, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because by hitting that subscribe button, you get notifications every time we post new content. And for me, the more information we can provide you with, the better. The better you can navigate your situation, the better you can feel supported and feel like you have some direction. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we are talking about how to rebuild trust after it has been broken. And this is such a hot topic, guys. This is something that I get asked all the time in my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions via email, DM, comments on YouTube, right? Trust is such a big part of a relationship. And oftentimes, unfortunately, it's broken. It gets broken. And how do we recover, right? How do we move past that, that pain, that anger, that frustration, that's where a lot of people get stuck. And my assumption is if you are watching this video, you are probably in a very similar situation. So I feel for you. I know how difficult that can be, but that is why I wanted to create this video so you feel like you have some information, some support, some direction um, to be able to really start to rebuild trust. Now, this is totally dependent on your situation, right? Are you the person who had your trust broken or are you the person who broke trust? Either way, there are certain elements or certain things that are necessary in order to start to rebuild trust. So let's start with the first one, right? So the first one is complete and total transparency. And this is terrifying, right? Because if we are the person that broke trust, right, and we and the information came out and now it's out there, there is always this feeling of, well, then what else are you lying to me about? And if there are certain things that you have kept secret for a while just because you felt like it would protect them from getting hurt, right? Little white lies. And now they want to know everything. You are put into a position where you have to make a choice, either come fully clean or withhold information. And I empathize with you because that's a really difficult position to be in. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's right to withhold information from somebody, right? Dependent on the situation because there is a level of accountability that has to be, you know, talked about here. But being in that position is hard, especially if your intention was not to hurt that person. But unfortunately, we are here you're at a crossroads and you have to make a decision. For me, the best rule of thumb is to be completely open and honest. Be transparent about everything because at the end of the day, at this point, you have nothing to lose. Lay your cards out on the table. And that also helps you emotionally and mentally to not feel like you are hiding anything anymore, right? There's almost a sense of relief when you open yourself up and you really just express how you're feeling or you tell the entire truth about a situation. And as difficult as that may be, it is the first step in being able to rebuild trust. The second part of this is consistency, right? Um, making sure that any decisions that you make moving forward. So let's say, for example, there was a break of trust, you have decided to really work on the relationship and move forward with things, consistency is going to be key here. So if you tell your partner that you're gonna be home by a certain time, you are home by that time. If you tell your partner that you're going to get something done, you get that thing done, right? Making sure that you are, again, being well, rebuilding that trust. And the only way that you can rebuild trust is to be consistent over a period of time. Because if you start to become complacent again, if you start to become inconsistent, it immediately will trigger your partner and they will feel like you were lying to them again or that you are not trustworthy or that you are withholding information, right? And as annoying as this may be, which look, I get, there is still the necessity for that to be present in order for things to work out. The third thing here is accountability, right? taking ownership of your actions, taking ownership of, of what you did. 
So often I find that when people get caught red-handed, their first reaction is to get defensive. And this is something that most people learn at a very early age, right? So it really kind of depends on, on your upbringing and the experiences you've had and maybe some of the minor traumas or major traumas you've had in your life, right? Where your go-to is to protect yourself. And in order to protect yourself, the walls have to come up. And for the walls to come up, you have to get on the defensive. But that's not going to solve anything. Taking accountability is huge in any relationship. It's necessary for a healthy relationship. It's necessary for you to be able to maintain and sustain a long-term relationship. Because if you need it, if you never take accountability for anything and you always deflect and you gaslight your partner, that turns into a toxic relationship. And toxic relationships eventually come to an end. So if you want to rebuild trust, take accountability for your actions, right? If you mess up along the way, which you're going to because you're human, and we all mess up, right? Take accountability for it. Maybe that's something that you're not used to doing. Maybe that's something that you need to learn how to do. I'm more than happy to help you do that. You know, this is what I do on a day-to-day -day basis with people. I work with individuals when it comes to rebuilding trust and understanding accountability and learning how to be empathetic. So if you need guidance, book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session. I'm your guy. I can help you through that. I have helped hundreds of people before in this type of situations. And I've had many, many success stories. So if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, I'll put the link in the description box down below. So you just have to click that link and it'll take you directly to the coaching page so that you can book that session and we can get started immediately working on the things that you need to work on. Because look, at the end of the day, if you are watching this video, you want to have a healthier relationship. You want a better, more fulfilling, loving relationship. And the fact that you're watching this already tells me that you are okay with taking accountability because if you didn't think that you did anything wrong, you would not be researching how to rebuild trust. So I know that you want the help and I know that you want to invest the time into improving yourself and I'm more than happy to support you doing that. So what is the next thing? Forgiveness. Forgiveness is key right? It's not just about your partner forgiving you, right? For, for whatever the mistake was, but it's about you forgiving yourself. Oftentimes we are the hardest on ourselves because there's guilt, there's shame, there's embarrassment, there's fear that's attached to all of it. And sure, recognizing, taking accountability and acknowledging, excuse my French, that you fucked up is incredibly important, but then you have to be able to forgive yourself. Because if you do not forgive yourself, you will continually approach this situation from a place of anxiety and fear and shame. And you don't want to rebuild something on a negative foundation, right? So if you're leading with that feeling, you're leading with negativity. And you're going to always feel like you're walking on eggshells. You're going to always feel like you're making mistakes. And that's not going to help you achieve what it is you want to achieve. There has to be a level of confidence here. There has to be a level of, of understanding that you're going to make mistakes, but it's okay. As long as they are not big mistakes, and as long as you take accountability for them, and as long as you, and it really, it's about how you repair, how you reconcile those mistakes. And at this point, if you are investing into learning how to do those things, Trust that you will not make the same mistake that you did before. You may make a new one, but it's, no, it's not going to be anywhere near the intensity of what the original mistake was that got you into this position. So forgive yourself. And the last part of this is expectations, right? Expectations and boundaries. It is likely that if you are the person that broke trust, your partner is going to set boundaries and expectations, and that is okay. But it's not just about that. It's about setting expectations and boundaries for yourself. What do you expect out of yourself moving forward? What is the standard that you are setting for yourself moving forward, right? And if you decide to set boundaries for yourself, stick to them. Boundaries are amazing and they're great for healthy relationships. But oftentimes what I find is people have a tendency of breaking their own boundaries first. So stick to your boundaries, stick to your expectations. And if your partner has put expectations and boundaries on you, respect that, at least for a period of time, if it is within reason, right? Because 
technically they do deserve to be able to do that because they also have to protect themselves emotionally and make sure that they have positioned themselves in such a way that they can start to trust you again. And in order for them to do that, there are going to be some rules. There are going to be some things that they lay down that they expect you to follow. So be aware that that is a possibility and most likely will happen. Again, if you feel like you need support, if you feel like you need help in this, I am more than happy to support you. Myself, Coach Adrian, Coach Natalie, we are here to help you through your current situation. If you feel like this is your situation, which my assumption is it is because you're watching this video, or maybe it's something that you've been through before, or you know somebody who's going through it, leave a comment down below. You know, we made this community and this channel specifically for you. Your words count. Your, your thoughts matter to us. It's what we utilize to create more content in order to help you through whatever situation it is you are in. So leave your comment down below. I will do my best to read it. I will do my best to respond because I am here to support you. You are not alone in this. Believe me when I tell you that. Again, my name is Danny. I'm your life and relationship coach. I hope you're staying happy and healthy and I'll see you in the next video.